Hey, how's it going today? As you can see by the screen, today we are going to play Excitebike. Oh, this is... this is a good game. It just is. We'll go with, uh... Let's go with track one today. Ready, set, go! <sighs> I picked Excitebike on purpose. It's a fun game. The goal is to get, of course, first place with every single track that you get on, which starts off fairly easy, but as we all know, this game gets mind-numbingly insane with some of the tracks. I mean, Evil Knievel himself wouldn't even consider doing some of this crap. You know, even he would look at this and go, um, uh, no. And no, I don't quite know how the mechanics work. What? Come on, I landed that. Not exactly sure how the mechanics work for this game, and I don't care. I just I'm basically playing this one because the initial game I had chosen was making me rage quit because the is bad. I'm sorry. I know I'm gonna get hate for that, and I don't care. Of course, to get that, you have to know what the game was. I was going to play Ducktales, and growing up, I loved that game so so much. But sitting here playing it today, rage quit. It is rage-inducing. The controls are terrible. I don't know if I posted it, people would be like, Oh no, you just suck. Uh, I can beat that game in a speed run and blah blah blah. You know, I'm sorry, I have a life. I, I can't... <laughs> I've got a girlfriend and a kid. I can't dedicate that kind of time to sit there. Oh, I can beat that game in 20 minutes. Well, good for you, virgin. Anyways. Today, you're going to get a rant. I just... I had a rough day in gaming today. You know, it's just... DuckTales was the... icing on the cake for me, I guess you can say. It started with... Uh, it started with Half-Life 2. Now, I'm not saying I don't like Half-Life 2, so all you fanboys, you know, don't get your panties in a wad. I did not say that. What I don't like is lazy game design, and unfortunately, with Half-Life, I see a lot of it. It is lazy. I'm sorry. Half-Life is one of those games where, when it's good, it's fantastic. When it's bad, it's terrible. And you know I'm... Oh, that's right, I forgot. And when it's bad, it's terrible. And you people know I'm right. You just don't want to admit it. It's... <sighs> I just, I don't understand what makes people think that it is such a great game when it is obviously so lazily done. Yeah, I know, I botched that whole section, I don't care. But it's just, it's lazy, I'm sorry. You know, the special effects look fantastic, uh, uh, the graphics look fantastic. Okay, don't get me wrong. I like the graphics. They look great. However, and actually, you know what? Hold, I'll hold on to that. However, I'll even go as you know, the graphics, great. The storyline, awesome. When you get it, that's my biggest problem. When you get it, I'm playing this game and I'm getting hours, like two and a half hours with no storyline. That is not okay. That is far too long to go without a storyline. Without something moving the story. That's too long. And it's not just like, oh, well, it's two hours, but, you know, at least I got to do different things. No, 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 no. You're doing the same shit for two hours. It's the same repetitive bullshit for two hours. You know? Go find power source, turn on power source, go back try to escape, you know, here's a bunch of ammo, oh, by the way, you're gonna lose it by the zombie horde. What is that? That is not good game design, that's lazy. It's just, it's kinda like, oh, hey, we made a game, so, uh, you're gonna spend your money on it, and so here it goes, enjoy, it's, you know, we rushed it because we wanted to get a game out. It's ridiculous, and it's pretentious. Oh my god, is this game pretentious. You know, it's like Valve was like, mm, we make video games. You know, it was like going to one of these uh, 
doing one of these film festivals. You know, you get these pretentious, pain in the ass, you know, filmmakers, you get them in the game world too, and Valve seems to have them. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, what makes you, what makes you think that that is a good way to design a game? It's not. It's a bad idea. You know, I, playing the game, I get a lot of the points, you know, there's a lot of times where I felt like the game was telling me, ho oh, ho, you can't make this game, so we did, and we spent your money on it. You know? The game was way too long. It, you could have shaved hours of gameplay off by simply doing away with unnecessary missions and the length of the missions. I mean, it's just, why? Why are they so long? You know, I mean, I guess the only answer I can come up with is like, oh yeah, this game's got eight hours of gameplay. Yeah, sure, if you wanna, um, if you wanna drive around in the tunnels and kill zombies for two hours, with no progression of story, that's not good. It's just, I don't, how do people think this is good? You know, I remember playing games where it was all story. Whoops. The story kept going, and my times were so much better the first time I played this through. You know, I remember growing up playing games that you would beat a certain boss, storyline would continue. You'd beat a boss, storyline would continue. There wasn't this huge break of nothingness to where you're just like, I'm bored, I'm gonna go do something else. It's bad. It's lazy. Anyways. It's not, th I mean, I know it's not fair. I'm, I'm picking on, you know, Valve, and I know I'm going to get hate all spammed all over this video. Because I know there's a bunch of Valve fanboys out there who are just going to, you know, going to rage my page just because they can. Get over it. You know, like I said, I'm not saying that Half-Life 2 was a bad game. It wasn't. It was just lazy. Other games fall into that same category. Bungie. The Halo series falls into that category very well. Especially Halo 3. Halo 3 is so lazy sometimes. They do the same thing. They fall into the same rut these other game designers use. Which is, we're going to take all your ammo and throw a horde of enemies at you. And that's, you know, that's what difficulty is. No, that's not difficulty. That's rage. That's, I don't want to play your game anymore, so I'm going to go turn on my emulator and play some fucking excite bike. <laughs> That's all that tells me. Is that it tells me that as your consumer, you don't care. You know, I can say, I can think whatever I want, you're going to make the game how you choose, and to hell with me. Thanks for your money, jerk. Here's our crappy game. And I'm not saying Halo 3 is crappy because I know it's not. I'm playing it. It's fun. I enjoy it. I really do. However, my favorite game of the series is Reach. Why? It moves. It progresses. Yes, it's a short game. And yeah, I was a little pissed paying 65 freaking dollars for a sh like a six hour game. Okay, yeah, I was a little pissed. But at least I got my money's worth. I wasn't mad about the game. I was mad about the length of the game. They could have added more story to it. But it moved. It kept moving. You know, I didn't want to put the controller down. I wanted to keep going because the storyline didn't stop. You know, the storyline didn't stop just because I reached a certain point. No, no, the storyline kept going. Fuck, I'm getting my ass whooped. I swear I was doing a much better job last time. I don't know what my issue is. You know, it's just... Again, this is this is this is a rag video. I'm not even gonna lie. This is just me venting frustration because to me it's irritating. With as much money as we spent, it's just it irritates the piss out of me. You know. Oh, and actually, now I think about another thing. You know, again, love Halo. Why is it only on Xbox? I don't have a PS3. I have a 360. So I'll say that right now. This is not some Xbox hating thing. And I'm not some PS3 fanboy. However, why is it only on Xbox? Why would they limit their fan base? And I can say the same thing for a couple of games, for some games I really, really want to play, 
but I'm not gonna go buy a fucking PS3 just so I can play them. That's stupid. Okay. One of them actually was a little big planet. I wanted to play that when it came out. I saw it. It looked good. I wanted to play it. Only on PS3. I'm like, what? <laughs> I uh, I don't care at this point. I'm just gonna eat shit. I'm like, why? What? What the hell is going on? Why is it only exclusive to PS3? And then they go make it worse, and they put it, you know, two games come out, and I can tell they're from the same developers. Well, they look like they're from the same developers. I can't say for certain, but, you know, they put out these game series that I want to play. I'm not buying a PS3 just to play these game series. I won't do it. That's stupid. The games I'm referring to is... Wow, fuck this. This is bad. Infamous. Infamous 1 and Infamous 2 look awesome. I've watched LPs for them. They are bad ass. I'm not buying a PS3 to play them. Why would that company limit their market? Why? That's stupid. That's just bad business. I mean, I'm sure PS3 fed them a story about how, oh, well, you know, they got Halo, so we'll have these, and you'll get this, and you'll help us bring in sales, and... No! A consumer with intelligence is not going to go buy a video game system for a game. That's ridiculous. I didn't buy Xbox because of Halo. I bought Xbox because it was a Windows. Or because it was Microsoft, rather. You know? And I know with my... Com you know, I've always had Microsoft products. So I bought Microsoft. I didn't buy it because of Halo. That was a bonus. The other one is Uncharted. Oh, this one irritates me. There are three Uncharted games out. I can't play any of them. Because they're all on PS3. And I know people are going to be like, well, you can get them on your computer. Yeah, good luck finding it. And I'm not going to eBay. And I'm not going to go, you know, to any of those other online places to buy it. I won't do it. You don't know what kind of condition that game's going to show up in. You know, and I don't want to play the game on my computer. I really don't. My computer is not set up for video games. I mean, it handles the emulators okay, but I don't want to do that. That's not why I have my computer. I want to be able to sit in front of my console, my HD TV, and play these games. I can't do that. Because somebody decided, oh, I got a better idea. Just bad business. And Bungie, you're guilty of this too bad business. If you were smart, you would get out of bed with Xbox, and you would start marketing with other systems, like PS3 and even Nintendo. You know, Nintendo could easily handle what you're throwing out with uh, Halo, the whole series. They could handle it, and they're proving that. But you've blown an entire market just because you want to lie in bed with Xbox, or with Microsoft. It's just bad business. And all you're doing is pissing off gamers. So, you know, and I know it's not going to stop because one person is like, eh, I don't like it. I'm well aware. But I'm going to voice my opinion. And, you know, it's like, I am the consumer. Why would you not listen to your consumer? Well, I would be your consumer if you marketed to me. But you don't. You know, you market to people who can afford to buy, have, and own all three systems. And own a computer that can put out the graphics that would be necessary to play your games. It just doesn't fly. I don't know. That's my rage for today. Uh, just want to get that off my chest. Trust me when I say there's plenty of more rages locked up inside. and I'll throw on an em another emulator with another game and I'll play it mindlessly, not really even paying attention. And you can listen to me... Oops. You can listen to me bitch some more about how people are just doing shit wrong. I mean, I'll probably rant about movies next time because that seems to be just getting... Either movies or movie reviewers. I might get them too because I think some of them are getting to be a little harsh. You know, it's it's just... Yeah. I'll The next one I'll do movies and movie reviewers. And I won't name names because I actually am fans of several of these movie reviewers I'm thinking of. 
you know. So I won't be naming names because that's not cool. I'm not gonna put them on blast without, you know, well, at least not without them knowing about it. I won't be like, hey, by the way, here's what I said. And, you know, if you want to retaliate, just let me know what you what your thoughts are on it. I don't put people on blast who can't actually defend themselves. It's not how I operate. Or who at least are willing to defend themselves. I can tell you right now that Microsoft is not going to post a YouTube video or, you know, PlayStation or any of Sony. They're, you know, they're not going to put one up on, oh, hey, you know, to YouTube account Sadser for X. You know, this is what we have to say. It's, they don't care. <laughs> they just don't. If they did, they would. They do just that. So, anyways, this has been Sad Surfer X, and this has been my bitch of the day. And hopefully, I'll be able to get up another one soon with a game that's. This is not very raging toasting. I've noticed. Yeah, I'm not like really upset. Most of the mistakes I'm making are well mine. <laughs> Once you figure out the mechanics of this game, you start to understand how it works and. You got no one to blame but yourself. Ah, shit. Anyways, this has been Satsur Frex. I'm signing off. Y'all have a good one, and... Yeah, take it easy. Be safe. Now, I, I gotta think of a better closing line than... Be safe. Oh, fucking lame. Oh. I... I ain't got shit. <sighs> Blue Falcon Leader, out.